What if there are actionable steps we can take to make more meaningful connections with others? So in the last few months, I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks and podcasts. And at the end, I came up with this four step formula to make more meaningful connections. So enjoy. Step number one is listening. So there is a really cool story in the How to Influence and Influence People book, which is there were two people talking to each other, okay? The second person was always just listening. He didn't say anything. And, and the first person was talking all the time. And then after this conversation, they, they asked the first person, what did you think uh, of this conversation? Did you like it? And he said that this was the most, you know, like wonderful conversation the, he had ever and he loved the other person a lot but the thing is the other person didn't even speak he was just listening and giving the space for the first person to express himself and to talk about uh, his life because you know at the end of the day we humans we love to talk about ourselves right in the last three weeks i've been going to a lot of debates so in these debates i'm meeting a lot of new people when i meet a new person i just really just listen to them talking about their life and what they are interested in and then once uh, for example i ask them like what are your hobbies for example and this is just like a general question right so then when they tell me something they are interested in and also i am interested in for example they are interested in creating content this is the point that 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 i'm gonna keep asking them on so i'm gonna tell them oh really that's real interesting because i'm also a content creator and i have four years of experience and maybe uh, like if you want some help i can help you maybe we can we can collab can you please tell me more about about your journey to create content and i keep asking them to talk about themselves and they will love you more because you are giving them the space to express themselves but if you keep keep uh, like uh, in interrupting them and talking about yourself this is where you know things get uh, like awkward and you don't build a good relationship okay so being a good listener is the easiest and the fastest way to make a good relationship with anybody number two speaking now it's your turn to speak right so there's a quote by cliff weizman and i love cliff so much he's amazing the quote is what everybody wants more than anything like cars and money it's to be loved and it costs you nothing to give love to somebody else right so by you just showing that you care for example if you have friends this is a story from my life i have a friend who really wants to to start making youtube videos but you know like uh, when you start you have this fear that you know I'm, I'm worried about you know what other people are gonna think of me so now my turn as a friend is to tell is to tell them you know what i'm gonna come to your house and i'm gonna help you to film the videos right so i'm showing them that i care and the more love you give to the world the more love you will receive later number three another quote by cliff which is people typically bond over vulnerability or over ambition so when you tell other people that in the past for example you, uh, your parents got divorced or you had you know a bad experience and you tell them how you overcame that situation they will feel that you are a real person so they will love you more right and also ambition when you talk about your goals for the future and also their goals and ask them for example so what are your goals for the future this is not a typical question so when you ask them about that they will tell you you know what nobody asked me this question before okay so what are my goals so when you ask them about their future plans and their goals they will feel happy and they will love you more because you are making them thinking about themselves and then speaking about themselves and the last thing is a quote by matthew dix who is the author of story worthy book this this is one of the most engaging books ever you should try it so the, the quote is if you can make the other person laugh share a little vulnerability and tell a good story in the process they will love you at the end so if you want to learn how to tell good stories i highly recommend reading story worthy or listening to to the audiobooks it's uh, 10 hours long but it's, it is really engaging it's, it's like playing a video game so I, I finished it in one and a half days because like it's really amazing and also for making the other person laugh also in this book he shares techniques on how you can make the audience or the other people laugh and while some people have a natural ability to make other people laugh I think that this is a skill you can develop and one of the ways is to read this book and you know try things for yourself and see what's working and repeat it and at the end I'm gonna try one of these strategies with you I want you to write me in the comments what what is your plan for the next year do you, do you even have a plan if you don't what are your like your goals what what do you want to achieve in life please tell me in the comments i'm gonna read them and respond to you and if you are interested in knowing how to make the perfect plan for you i highly recommend watching this video on the screen and see you in the next one